Hi there, this is Wendy, you can one of you can two. Uh, there's been a lot of conversation today on the ukulele underground about playing with a ukulele with the female anatomy. And out of that conversation, I've discovered a few things and I have uh, reconfigured my strap. I now have two of them. I thought I'd show them to you so you see what I did in case it's useful to you. Uh, originally, I had a strap attached here in the middle of the uke there. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Whoops! <laughs> There's a little plastic loop on the flea uke right here. And I added a little loop of string. It's very crude. And I tied a strap onto that. I added the loop of string because the plastic loop is very tiny. It's hard for the strap to fit through. So I attached, I originally had my strap attached here at the middle. And then I had it also attached at the at the head right here, and uh, so it went from here to here, and then I would put my head and right arm through it, but it was attached here. Um, that worked reasonably well, but the uke was not very stable. It required a lot of first of all, it sat about here, so I had to use a lot of pressure from my right arm to keep it stationary and then it still wasn't very stable with only one strap uh, and also the strap kind of crossed over to here when I did that you know it was kind of awkward but it it was better than anything else I had tried I've been playing that way for I don't know a month or two uh, and today I finally uh, attached some velcro here near the base I don't want to put it in the bottom of the flea because the flea has this wonderful feature that it stands on its flat bottom on a desk or table stands upright all by herself so didn't want to mess with the base so I put velcro right here as close to the base as possible without messing up the flat bottom and uh, to that I attached the strap so uh, so now I have two straps one runs from the middle to the base so that's attached where the old one was in the middle and in my new base and then I have a second strap that runs from the head to the base and uh, so this is how I play. I put my head and arm through both of them and uh, sits like this and now the uke stays completely stationary without any help from my arms. It's totally solid and stable because of the double strap configuration. It works great and it sits, I think this is the, about the right height and angle for me to play comfortably. It's a good place for my left arm. It's a good place for my right arm, which is now free to do it. I doesn't have to rest anywhere or put all that pressure. I can just use it to play. It's a wonderful thing. So uh, that's my new strap configuration. I'm very pleased with it. I might experiment a little bit still with the height and the angle of it, but uh, I made two, vid two music videos tonight and I did find that this is this is about the angle. I was playing up here before, which was a little uncomfortable. I didn't realize until yesterday. But um, this, I think, is a better height. But I had long found that this is about the right angle for me, just to finger chords well. And um, I found, again, today, today I tried diff different angles, but this does seem to be about the right angle for me. Uh, Everybody is different, I know, and I see play people playing all sorts of ways. This is what feels like it's working best for me right now. This is, seems like a really good spot for the uke, a good angle, and works well. So, thanks for listening. I hope it's useful to you. It's been very useful for me. It's so much easier to play this way than it was any way that I've tried it before. I can stand, I can sit, I can dance around, which I like to do when I way so uh, it's working great for me hope you hope you found it useful <laughs> thanks for the support pun intended have a great playing thanks